This started out because a group of girls from East Harlem wanted to figure skate. I was a competitive figure skater, but it wasn't until years later when I had given up the sport that I could look back and see all that I had gained. I had a measure of discipline. I was able to focus. Most important, I learned how to, how to fall down and get backed up. It was, it was about resiliency. And those exact same lessons are what our girls get to learn experientially through skating, but also our program embeds in it these lessons of character. I think a big takeaway that I took is the discipline because, you know, when you're falling and being new to ice skating and never had ice skated before, my first thing was, well, Mom, I don't know how to skate at all. How am I going to be a part of this figure skating company? I challenged myself and I kept going and I think that was something that I learned definitely from falling a million times when I was eight years old when I first got on, to, on the skates. So. The program has changed in leaps and bounds. Before I kind of saw it as, you know, the girls come to the ice, they practice skating, they get some homework help. But now what happens is I see all these life enrichment activities that the girls are doing. So they're learning about financial skills. They're learning about um, what it means to speak publicly and how do you do that in presentations. And that's really, really exciting. We have a financial literacy class which really helped with my um, financial um, sense because without money our world pretty much doesn't go around anymore. A lot of the times it was more important for us to actually make sure that our grades were maintained. With FSH, if you were not excelling in school, you could not skate. Our girls most maintain a B average or higher. I would say 25% maintain an A average in school, which is phenomenal, and 85% in total do better than a B. So we really work hard with them both on the ice and in the classroom. Well since I'm a senior my study sessions were mostly about how to get into college and financial aid and my academic advisor Dennis he helped me a lot with the process. We went over multiple supplemental essays for certain colleges and he sat with me day after day and worked on these essays with me and I'm proud to say that I've been awarded a full scholarship to Howard University. My daughter just wrote a black history project so one of the questions in it, she's in the fifth grade, is where do you want to go to college, right? And she writes, oh, I think I would like to go to Wellesley because they foster sisterhood just like FSH. So just the, the fact that she can articulate that at 10 years old is just phenomenal to me. I graduated last year with my master's in urban planning and economic development. And right now I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually doing applications for my PhD, so this is something new I haven't even told Sharon. Now I work at a corporate law firm in Manhattan. I'm an alumni relations coordinator um, in the business development department at the law firm. And I'm in grad school studying urban policy. I own two companies actually. Well, first one I started when I was 17 years old with my mom, Yvonne Juno, New York. And with the production company that I run, Harlem Fashion Week, it's literally born, bred, and grassroots within Harlem. So what we've learned over the years is that this model of education, health and fitness through figure skating and leadership really positively impacts girls' lives. And this year, on our 20th anniversary, we have launched our program in Detroit. We'll be serving over 300 Detroit girls with a similarly robust and exciting uh, program with figure skating, education, and empowerment. When people come together to do good, wonderful things happen. So you don't have to be an Olympian to gain the, the skills and the qualities to go off in the world and make a difference. And we have girls that have done that.